with Olive Tech and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a Google Classroom banner using Google Slides. Now this is pretty awesome because you're able to customize your banner however you would like to and if you're a huge Bitmoji fan like I am, you're able to throw those in there very easily um, and kind of create your own customized look. So what I did for mine was I kind of set up my work from home space as you can see um, and just kind of threw things in there that I knew the kids would like. Um, they all make fun of me because I have a hydro flask and call me a visco girl. Uh, so I incorporated my hydro flask in there. I put our school banner up. I also incorporated our Lego robotics stuff over here. Um, each one of my big whiteboards right here kind of says a different subject. So what I did do was I duplicated this one after I made it and I just changed what the middle part of it said. So this is aerodynamics and I changed the bitmoji here. Here I have robotics, this is digital media, and this is from my advisory. Sebastian, yeah, it's a long story, but Sebastian's a big part of my advisory, so that's why he is in this banner. Um, but anyway, so this is what it looks like. This is just something nice to kind of customize to your classroom um, to make your students smile. I already incorporated it, and my kids love it. Um, they love the I miss you. I mean, it's, it's great for right now with everything that's going on, but it's also super cool uh, for us to do when we get back into the classroom to kind of express ourselves a little bit and show our kids like, you know, we are human too. Um, and we have ideas just like you guys. So what I'm going to be showing you first is if you don't have the Bitmoji Chrome extension downloaded, you're going to want to do that if you're into Bitmoji and want to do that. Um, if not, you can also use this to customize it in any other way you'd like, but if you would like to incorporate your Bitmoji, make sure you have that extension downloaded. Once you have that, you're going to open up a new tab. You're going to go to Google Slides, so slides.google.com. And we're going to create a blank presentation. And first thing that you guys are going to do when you get there is you are going to change the page dimensions. So are the slide dimensions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to file. We're gonna go to page setup. You're gonna click to custom and you're gonna make the dimensions 16 by 67 and 4.17 inches. You hit apply and this is the exact dimension of the Google Classroom banner. I'm going to get rid of my text boxes because I'm not going to be working with text at the moment. Um, what you are going to do is you are going to create your background first. I think the first thing you should do is put in a background. Now your background can be anything. For me I did like a living space so if I go back and you guys take a look like this is a living space. That's what I did for mine. Um, yours can be anywhere. It could be outside. You can decorate it however you'd like, like a different kind of room, an office room, an art room, whatever it may be. Um, so for what I did when I was looking stuff up, I did living space background. And they show you all different ideas, but it's kind of like trial and error because some of them might stretch out so much that it won't necessarily look that great. So I'm gonna try, I'll show you an example. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so obviously this one is not one that would work. So I just wanted to show you guys what I meant by that um, because it looks too stretched out. But if we go back to our search and kind of find one that's like clean, like this one, this one looks like a good one that we can kind of decorate ourselves. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do in this space first, so it really depends on what you'd like to put here. Um, I'm gonna insert my Bitmoji first. And you could pick any one that you want. Let's see, okay, so you find the one that you'd like. I'm gonna choose this one, I copied it. Do Command V on my Mac in order to paste it. Okay, so this could be my Bitmoji here. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna set this up to look a little bit more like a classroom. 
So I'm gonna use Google because that's just my preference. You guys can continue to use, um, if you want to go here as well, search the web for your images, but I'm gonna search for purple couch PNG. Um, just so it's transparent. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay, yep, let's try this one. So I'm gonna right click, copy my image. I'm gonna go back into my presentation. I'm gonna do Command V, and we'll shrink it down to Bitmoji size. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do here is in the center kind of put something to let them know like this is our technology class. Maybe we can look for chalkboard. Ah, chalkboard, one word. Okay, so any of these really work. Um, I'm gonna use this one, so I'm gonna copy this one. Paste it here. And depending on what you guys want to do, I mean, you can really write it anywhere. I'm just kind of throwing things in here right now to show you exactly like how to create this. But um, you can make it a banner, you can make it a chalkboard, you could plaster it on anything that you want, but just something that, you know, you can um, put your name of your class or what you want them to do. Um, make like a little list here. It's totally up to you. Um, when I did mine, I did word art. Welcome. It's kind of annoying because I did each one of mine individually. Welcome to um, technology. But for now, you know, we're just gonna do hello, everyone. Um, And then here, you know, you can pick your fonts to whatever you want it to say. I think this was the font that I had used in mine. rest of it if you want to just do a regular text box because that's easier. You're welcome. Okay, so I mean, you guys can kind of figure out how you want to word everything and what you want to put there. But I'm just trying to show you some examples. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, let's get some technology posters. Let's put on the wall there. Remember to be like, a little specific with your searches sometimes because that could definitely help. I think when I did it the first time, I did funny technology posters because they had some cute ones. Um, <laughs> I kind of like this one, IT. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go here, paste it. I can make this like a picture on my wall. What you could also do is, I mean, you could add a border to kind of like, make it kind of like a picture frame if you want like this or you can actually search for a picture frame like a png picture frame let's say that i wanted something um that wasn't a png so i'm gonna search for standing lamp um is this is a png this is not a png okay so a great tool that you guys can use is you can go to remove.bg 
and you can literally drag any image here and it'll oops and it'll make it a PNG. So instead of saving this file, what I do is I just like drag it over and it does it and I could download it. go back because I just hit download. There we go. So just hit download. Don't do what I did just now. Just hit download and I'll see it. Perfect. I'm gonna um, save. I'm gonna move this to my desktop and I'll pull it up Go here and I could drag it now into here and it is now a PNG and that's awesome and I love that. And obviously I still have this on so I need to take that off. I can make it a little bigger. Not too big because we don't want it to be not so realistic and kind of put it on the floor. Maybe you kind of want to think of your own things that you want to just like incorporate in there. Um, you can do, I did string lights on mine, so I mean you can put them anywhere. These aren't PNG though, we can convert them, but let's see. Move to desktop. Move. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Um, oops. So you can move them anywhere you'd like. I mean, I'm just like placing things, places to kind of get a feel of how I want this to look or. Whatever it may be, it's totally up to you guys. You guys are going to make it like your own. Now if I drag this a little bit like off of the page, you'll only see what's in the banner, so that part won't be there, um, which is totally fine. I'm not really sure what I'm trying to do here with these lamps. Just trying to give you guys the gist of the idea of what all the things that you can do with this. Um, but if I hit present and I see what this looks like, I'm only going to see this part as you can see so far what we got here. Um, so that's basically it. That's like the gist of it. I don't want to go into too detail because I know you want to make it your own. Um, but what I will show you is that what I did was I would put it into present mode and then I would screenshot the selected area with my mouse. And then it would go to my desktop and I would name it Technology Banner 2 because I have one already. Um, and then this is my test Google Classroom. It's not like a real one. But what you would do is you would go to your Google Classroom, you'd hit Upload Photo, and that is where you can upload the file from your desktop and put it there. Um, so you go to your computer and here open and then I would hit select class theme um, you just have to crop it but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to leave mine as what I have it unfortunately I've had a lot of questions about the uh, gray overlay the gray overlay there is like an HTML code that you can change the gray overlay to take it away um, from your computer but it's always going to be there it's there because if you look on Google Classroom they want you to be able to see the white lettering that's here, even on the kids' end. Um, but I'm sure because of a lot of this um, is being brought up that in some point maybe they will allow us to change it or whatever it may be or have that option at least. Um, so your stuff won't look as bright, but it's still something cool for the kids to see, a nice customizable uh, Google Classroom banner. All right, so if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below and I will help you out. And I hope you all have a great day.